Hello everyone. In this series, we are covering the most commonly asked Java technical interview questions. And the topic that we are covering today is the remove duplicates from string. In this coding task, you are required to write a program that can uh, if efficiently eliminate any duplicated characters presented in a given string. A string will be given which contains multiple duplicated characters and you need to write a program that can eliminate all those duplicated characters from that string. Okay, And the solution that you provide, it should handle the strings of different lengths and preserve the original order of the characters. For example, if this is the given string, which contains multiple A's, B's, and C's, after eliminating all the duplicates, your output should be ABC. Okay, so let's get started. So first step that I'm going to do here is I will create a string variable which will be used for containing the final result. Let me declare the string variable result. Okay, And at the beginning, I can assign this empty string to it because it's going to be replaced by the characters of the original string later on. Okay? And the approach that I am going to take here is I will get each characters of the original string and add them one by one to the second string. But if there is any character that's going to be duplicated, if it's already contained, then I can skip adding that specific character. By using this approach, at the end, we will have this string which does not contain any duplicated characters. Okay, So in order to get each characters of this original string, this given string, I can use for loop. And when I use for loop, initialization it, of the for loop, it can start from index 0 because I need to get the characters starting from first character, which is in, from index 0 till the last index. And as for the condition, so I will be representing the index number. The maximum number, number of the index number can only be the last index of the string str. So which means it should be less than the length of the string. Because the last index is length minus 1. So since we are using the less than operator, we can give the length on, uh, on the right side of the la less than operator. Which means it will include it till length minus 1 which is the last index number. And as for the iterator, we can give the increment of i. So now you have this i that can get you each characters, uh, that can get you the index number of, uh, of this string, str. And by using this index number, we are able to get each characters. To get each characters of the given string, now we can call this charat method inside this loop and pass this i as the argument which returns us each of the character. If it returns me each character, I can also assign it to this variable within this loop. So I have this variable which is representing each characters of this string. Let's also display the character one by one Let to make sure that we are getting each character one by one during each iteration of the for loop. So those are the characters of this string. Okay. And next step, I need to add those characters to the second string. For that, I can use this concatenation. I can e add each characters. So after this loop is executed, finished execution, after the execution of this for loop, we do have this result which contains all the characters of the string str. So once the loop is terminated, outside the loop, if, if I print this result, now you see the result has all the characters of this str. And this is not our expected result. Okay, Our expected result it should not contain those duplicated characters. So I cannot just add all the characters of this one string to another string. I, I need to have some condition for adding them. Okay, So if the character was already added to the result, then I should not add the character again. If you add the character again, that means it will be duplicated. Okay, So if the character is already contained in this string, if it is already included in the string, we should skip this step. Okay, So I can create this if condition here. If the result already contains the character. If it already contains the character, then 
we can give this continue statement, which is which is used for skipping, which means this this code fragment will be skipped when the continue statement gets executed. So if a is already added here, when it comes to the next a, since it's already added, it is going to skip adding this a into the result. And you are getting this compile error at line 14 is, is because this contains method, it only accepts string. And our variable here was char. So you could change the data type of this char variable. And in order to get each character as a string object, after you get each character, you can just concate it to an empty string to make it easier. Okay. So now if I run the program one more time, if the character was already added, the next time when the loop gets executed, it will not add the, add the same character again. That's why this time we only have ABC. Okay. So this loop, whenever this condition becomes true, this code fragment will be skipped. So if A, B, C are already added, then next time when it comes to those A, B, C characters, those characters is going to, going to make this condition true because those characters are already included in the result. Then the skip command, this continue statement gets executed. This code fragment will be skipped afterwards. You can also uh, test it out with the different inputs. You can also include some... Uh, some uh, special characters if you want. To make sure that your code, your the solution that you provided, it can work with the string with the different lines and different characters. In the result, you should not have any duplicated characters. And of course, there are also different ways to create those conditions here in this approach. There, there can also be different uh, approaches to solve this particular task. And if you have any question regarding the approach that I showed here, make sure to leave a comment. Uh, uh, if you would like to add or ask anything, you make sure to leave your comment in the comment section. I do check the comment section daily and I will reply to all your comments. Please hit the like button if you found this video helpful and consider to subscribe to our channel if you would like to stay connected. Also, let me know in the comment section on which Java technical interview question you want me to cover next. Thank you so much. See you all in the next video.